everybody, Saloni here. I'm the CEO and Chief Sustainability Officer at Eco and Close. And today we're here to talk about Algae Inc. It's one of my favorite things to talk about at Eco and Close, so I'm really excited to be here. Um, Algae Inc. is a technology that was invented several years ago by Living Inc. Technologies. Um, and it's an incredible technology. So first I'll start by explaining to you what it is and why it's so much better than the traditional black ink that's out there. So you can tell like black is on everything. If you think about your clothes, like what you read, your all of your um, electronics, like black is printed on everything. So this is an example of something that's dyed with a traditional carbon black. And so most of what's out there that is black is made with carbon black. And the way that carbon black is made is that you actually burn petroleum, you incompletely burn petroleum, and that leaves black particles. And those particles become the basis for the inks, uh, the pigments and the dyes that become then the colorants to everything that is becoming black in the world. Um, and so there's two problems with that. One is it's reliant on the fossil fuel industry because you're literally just burning petroleum to make those particulates. And the second one is that most scientists now have discovered that that's a carcinogen. So it's not necessarily a carcinogen when you're touching the finished product, but people who are making the ink and working with the ink ha are exposed to a carcinogen that is not great for their health. So that's obviously something we wanna do away with. So that's where algae ink comes in. And so what the guys at Living Ink have discovered is that you can take algae cells and the cool thing about what they're doing is that the algae cells are coming from an algae like a, an algae production facility and they're using the waste so after the algae production facility has been used to create fuels those waste products are then those cells are becoming the actual pigments that's going into this um, to this ink and so if you think about most ink is even a water-based ink the way that it's constructed if it's for like flexographic or offset inks it's like it'll come in a tub like this about 80% of it will be a carrier. And so that's gonna be water or soy or solvent, depending on what kind of printing is happening as well as like how sustainable the ink is. Uh, we typically, even in our traditional inks, are using water-based ink, so that's about this much. Then this much of it is gonna be additives. So things that are helping with the printing, the drying, making sure it doesn't smudge off. And then the rest is that pigment that I just talked about. In a traditional ink, even a water-based or soy-based ink, that pigment is going to be made with carbon black. In this case, it's made with dead algae cells. So really cool because you're replacing that fossil fuel industry. What's even cooler is that LCAs, um, and these are like um, university funded and developed LCAs, have discovered that carbon black is not only um, a, a better than fossil fuels, it's actually sequestering carbon. So a bucket, a 45 pound bucket, a five gallon bucket of algae ink is actually sequestering the same amount of carbon as the planting of four trees. Cool. So we met Scott Fulbright about five years ago. And by we, I mean um, Kyle and myself who own Eco and Clothes. And at that point, um, he, they, they're located in Colorado. And at that point, they had recently just discovered this idea that you can use algae cells to make a black ink. Um, they had had a Kickstarter campaign and were just in early stages of trying to figure out, like, what can they do with this technology? And when we met them, you know, we have a, what, what's cool about Eco and Clothes is that we could pretty much, we can very quickly take a technology and try it on our machines and see if it works. And so soon thereafter, and this is in 2017, we said, hey, we want to try to print our boxes with your algae ink. They got to work. They made a flexographic ink that had the black algae pigments and we were able to test print a couple boxes. And then Bedrock Sandals, which is one of the coolest sandal companies out there, they're super innovative and they're super ready to like try cool new technologies, said, yeah, we'll give it a go. We'll try to print our boxes in black algae ink. And so they printed a box with a similar design. This is a newer version of it, but a similar design to this, all printed in algae ink. And that was, you know, in 2017. And now they probably printed 100,000 boxes with algae ink and they helped us make this a more commercially viable option. And so after printing their boxes for about six months in black algae ink, we made it available to everybody. And you've got like so many now beautiful boxes that are printed in algae ink. Um, you've got, got, I mean, I think we've probably done 200, 300 box designs that are printed in algae ink. And then um, after that, we started to print our stock mailers with algae ink and offer the same algae ink on our mailers. So now our mailers can be printed with algae ink as well. And then just a couple months ago, we've been working with, algae, uh, with the Living Ink guys to say, hey, we need this on Poly. We've got a lot of customers that are 
printing poly mailers, and they would love to use algae ink as well. And so they've been formulating a version that would actually work on plastic, a flexographic ink that would work on plastic. And just a couple months ago, in just in time for Earth Day 2022, we were able to get a poly ink formula that would work really well on a poly mailer. Um, and we hope to make this more broadly available and make this the ink that's actually printing our stock poly mailers by the end of the year. Um, about two years ago, they created a beautiful screen ink. So you can also print your apparel with black algae ink and a lot of cool companies are doing that. Um, and just in the last probably two days, we've been really working on a stamp ink. We've been trying to formulate in-house a stamp ink that would work with algae. It's still in you know, development phases, uh, but I think it's gonna work really, really well. And we've got a couple companies testing it out for us right now, and we hope to make that an offering long-term. Uh, people can also print uh, note cards. So if you're at scale and you use an offset printing technology, you can print note cards or product labels using black algae ink. Um, so we get a lot of questions about algae ink and the living ink folks do as well. We work closely with them. And so I'm just gonna share a couple sort of frequently asked questions we get and responses to it. So one of the questions we get a lot of is like, what do you mean by carbon negative or carbon sequestering? What does it mean that a large bucket of algae ink sequesters the same amount of um, carbon as the planting of four trees? So great question. And so what carbon sequestering means is that when you produce an item, in this case, when you grow an algae, like grow algae and grow algae cells, you're sequestering carbon. You know, those algae cells are taking carbon, carbon in in order to grow it. And because that carbon isn't being burned or re-released into the atmosphere or you know, composted or something like that, they're actually getting trapped into an ink pigment and that ink pigment is getting placed onto a substrate, which is sort of now being placed on that basically forever. Like it's not, I mean, assuming that this box doesn't get burned, that carbon is being sequestered into that item forever. So it's a really cool technology because again, instead of the burning of fossil fuels, that's just taking carbon that's trapped deep into our atmosphere, deep into our soils and our grounds and burning it and releasing that carbon into the air. What this is, it's a, it's a renewable resource that's taking carbon in, sequestering it into that algae and the algae cells and turning that into a long, light, long lasting, durable product that's gonna capture those algae cells forever. So that's what we mean by sequestering. And the LCA has basically shown, okay, well, how much, if you grow four trees, how much carbon gets sort of captured in those trees? And that, that's what they've sort of said, okay, well, the amount of carbon that's sequestered into a bucket of algae and the creation of those algae cells is the equivalent amount of carbon that it's gonna be sort of the same as planting four trees. Um, so there's, there's also other benefits. You're using a little bit less water, but you're also um, you know, not using oil. Like there's a, a whole bunch of fuel that's saved. So there's a bunch of different sort of savings and benefits of going with algae ink, in addition to the fact that it's also healthier. So we talked at the beginning of this video about the fact that um, carbon black working with it is, can be a carcinogen, can be um, a health hazard for ink workers. This type of ink doesn't have that same thing. And frankly, our folks in the print area and our own company will tell you when they work with algae ink, it sort of washes right off of their hands as they're cleaning up. Whereas when they work with the traditional PMS black ink, that's not true. They need to do a lot more scrubbing. So they even experience that themselves. Another question we get a lot of is, um, you know, what, 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 do, what do I do if I want to screen print my t-shirts? So screen printing, I think when people are doing flexographic and offset printing, they're likely working with the print shop, but we know that there's a lot of folks out there that are maybe screen printing their shirts at home and selling them in different marketplaces. And so we've got a couple options for you. So if you go to Living Ink's website, they actually have a little shop where you can buy screen printing ink directly off of their website. You can also always reach out to hello at ecoenclosed.com and we can help you place an order for just like a small um, half a kilo of, um, of screen printing ink or half a kilogram of screen, screen printing ink or more. If you needed high volumes at this point, just reach out to hello at ecoenclosed.com and we can work with you and Living Ink to figure out how much you need, what's your use case, where does it need to get sent and we can get that over. Um, a lot of folks I know might want the ink but they aren't screen printers themselves in which case we've got a list of screen printers that are already actively purchasing and using Living Ink's Black Algae Ink and we can find out you know, which is the right partner for you and direct you to that screen printer so that you can start using algae ink on your own apparel. So as I said, that's another question I get. Then another question we get a lot of is like, is, is algae ink, is, is it recyclable and is it biodegradable? There's two questions we get. And so what I always say is that it is not, you cannot just take a bucket of algae ink and pour it into a compost bin and that have like a healthy beneficial impact to your compost. The reason for that is it's largely water and then you've got the algae cells, but you also do have additives and those additives aren't all like compostable in and of themselves, things that 
make sure that it doesn't foam up in the inkwell, make sure that it dries quickly. And so while these are um, not necessarily like toxic chemicals that are dangerous to people, it's certainly not something you wanna pour into a compost bin. Um, that's just true of all inks, frankly. Um, it is definitely less hazardous and less toxic than any equivalent ink that's out there. Um, but if you have a box like this and you, you have it and it's, got print, it's printed with algae ink, two things are true. One is, yes, you can compost this box and the ink is gonna have minimal a minimal negative impact on the compost, particularly when you compare it to a standard PMS black ink. The other thing that's true is that this is a more friendly ink for the recycling stream as well. So if you use solvent inks or certain soy inks, the way that the ink um, it like sort of attaches to the substrate makes it pretty difficult in the paper repulping process to de-ink it. Algae is pretty safe and easy for the de-inking process to remove the ink from it, leaving a cre cleaner and more sort of usable and marketable like repulped paper stream. And so in that way, especially given if you think about how much is printed with black algae ink, if everything, or if how much is printed with black ink, if everything was print printed with black algae ink, it would also make the output from recycled paper cleaner easier and more marketable to use. Great, so another question we get a lot of is, okay, well, I don't just need black, I need a lot of colors, or frankly, I don't need black at all, and I need blue and green and yellow and pink, and so that's a great question. So the team is, is I would say the Living Ink team is really focused on, okay, well, black represents over 50% of the printing ink out there, and so now that we know that we can replace carbon black with algae cells, the best thing we can do for the environment is make this available in as many platforms as possible. So what started out as, as a flexographic ink, then you know they created the screen printing ink, then they created an offset ink. They also have a UV curable, energy curable ink, and that's a great um, application for if you're like printing directly on plastic bottles or something. Um, and they're working to get a digital ink as well so that you can print like a you know like something on your own home computer or after a while your home home printer so i think they have rightfully for the environment focused not on color expansion but on print methodology and ink type expansion that said they have made a lot of inroads on new ink colors particularly in green and so i I think a sneak preview for anybody who's watching this, by the end of the year, I fully expect that we'll have some green algae ink options available. And then, you know, that will over time catalyze their opportunity to go into other, other colors. So while it's not necessarily as much of a priority as it is to get into like digital black ink printing, it is certainly something that is on their radar. And we're really excited to bring that offering to you uh, when we have it on the green Flexo ink side. Well, thanks for learning about Algae Inc. here today. If you want to learn more, you know, a couple of steps you can take. One is always reach out to us, hello at ecoenclosed.com. You can always check out our website. We've got a bunch of resources that are related to Algae Inc. where you can learn more about the technology, frequently asked questions. That's also on our website. You can also go to Living Inc.'s website, um, livinginc.co. Um, reach out to their um, contact us page and somebody can get back to you with more information. And then yeah, check back to our newsletters and we'll, we'll release new videos as this, um, as this ink technology becomes even more and more available across different substrates and different printing technologies and different colors. We'll share that update here. Thanks so much.